In this video, we are going to solve for x by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. Be sure to always check your solution when multiplying both sides of the equation by an algebraic expression because you may get a solution that does not work with the original problem. Let us look at our first problem. We have an algebraic expression in the denominator on both sides of the equation. So we want to solve for x by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. So the least common denominator will be the two denominators multiplied together. So I am going to take 3x plus 2, which is over here, and multiply it by x plus 1. And then I'm going to take 3x minus 2 and multiply it by 5x minus 4. Okay, so now we got rid of our fractions. So let us use FOIL to uh, simplify everything. So we have 3x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 2 is equal to, I'm just going to leave it as is, 's take care of one side first. So we have 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 is equal to, now I'm going to go ahead and multiply the right side of the equation. So that's going to be 15x squared minus 12x minus 10x plus eight, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish simplifying. So we have three x squared plus five x plus two is equal to 15 x squared. So negative uh, 12 minus 10 is 22. So we have minus 22 x plus eight. Now we're going to combine like terms. So here we have 3 and 15 attached to x squared. So I'm going to bring the 3 over. So we're going to say, I'm just going to write the equal sign. So 15 minus 3 is 12. So we have 12x squared. Okay. So now let's bring the five over. Negative 22 minus five is 27. So minus 27 X. And now I'm gonna bring the two over. So eight minus two is six. And then everything is equal to zero. So just for uh, simplicity, I'm gonna go ahead and write it like this. So 12 x squared minus 27x plus 6 is equal to 0. So now we're solving for x. You can solve for x using one of the methods that we've talked about in the past. How about we use by factoring? So first I want to just sort of divide everything by 3 just so we can get smaller numbers. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we get 4x squared minus 27 divided by 3 is 9. So we get 9x plus 6 divided by 3 is 2 equals 0. So now I'm just going to factor. So we have x is equal to 1 fourth and x is equal to 2. Okay? And that is how you do the first problem.
Now let's look at our second problem. Okay, so again, we want to multiply both sides by the least common denominator in order to solve for x. So the first thing I want to do is I want to clean, I want to clean uh, the left side of the equation up first. So um, I'm going to add the left side together. So in order to do that, we need to come up with a least common denominator on the left side. So I need to multiply x minus 3 by uh, 1. So we have x minus 3 times 1 plus x times 1. We're multiplying this denominator by the numerator on the right side. So when you do that, you get a common denominator of x minus 3 times x. Okay, so then I'm going to come back over here and just rewrite what we have, 3x minus 5. So now I'm just going to clean it up. We have x minus 3 plus x all over x times x minus 3, which is equal to 7 over 3x minus 5. And x plus x is 2x, so we have 2x minus 3 over x times x minus 3 is equal to 7 over 3x minus 5. Okay, so now we can multiply both sides by the least common denominator. So we are going to say 3x minus 5 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 7x times x minus 3. Now we do not have a fraction. So now we have 6x squared minus 9x minus 10x plus 15 is equal to 7x squared minus 21x, which means we have 6x squared minus 19x plus 15 is equal to 7x squared minus 21x. So now I'm just going to bring the 6 over, so we're left with x squared. If I bring the 19 over, we're left with negative 2x. And if I bring the 15 over, we're left with minus 15 is equal to 0. If I take the negative 15 and I factor it, we get... 3 and negative 5, and uh, if I add 3 and negative 5 together, we get our middle number. So we're going to use x plus 3, and x minus 5 is equal to 0, which means we have x is equal to negative 3, and x is equal to a positive 5. Okay, and that is how you solve for x by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. Thank you so much for watching and if no one has told you this today, remember that you are amazing.